course, he then goes around the world to Israel and then to Wales to the. <laughs> Why, hello there YouTube and welcome back to Zombie Weekend. We are on day three now, and for that one we're reviewing, well I'm reviewing, World War Z. Yeah. So this uh, is based on the book by the same name by Max Brooks, um, directed by Mark Froster, starring Brad Pitt, uh, Deb Gardner, uh, Jeremy Kel at Planer. Um, oh, hold on. I'm looking on the producers. Excuse me there. Oh, sorry. Here we are. Here it is. Who, here's who it stars. Brad Pitt, uh, Marilla Enos, James Badge, Dale, Matthew Fox, with Peter Capaldi and Ruth Negger. So this um, follows... Uh, Jerry Lane, who is a former AFSOC uh, UN um, operative, um, who has now settled down with a wife and two daughters, and of course they wake up like any other day, but then next thing you know in their hometown a zombie outbreak happens spreading worldwide and within 12 seconds of being bit you're infected and you become a zombie and you're not the slow kind you're the fast kind now uh, of course we all know where the fast kind craze started so i won't get into too much detail with that i mean yeah people say it was 28 days later but as i've said already i like to think that inspired the fast undead zombie but like I said, we'll get to all that soon. So anyway, yeah, these zombies are fast. They climb up on top of one another and they're attracted to sound. And Brad Pitt's character, Jerry, is called back by his old boss who needs his assistance to find a way to cure this plague. And of course, he then goes around the world he, there's one guy who actually knows what's happening and how to undo it, but he unfortunately gets killed in the most doziest way I've ever seen. Uh, of course, he then goes around the world to Israel and then to Wales, to the WHO, and he finds out that these zombies don't infect other people that are infected with illnesses and finds that if they can do that, if he can infect himself with an illness, he can blend in and camouflage. And of course, at the WHO, they've got all these diseases. The only trouble is, the wing where they're all kept is infected with zombies, and he has to go through a whole obstacle of zombies and make his way out. So that's... And of course, they don't really cure it, but as Jerry says, this is at the end, not even close. So that's the essential story. So I'm sure I'm not spoiled because this film's like nine years old now and I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. So what did I like? Well, I like the zombies. They were fast and they were attracted to sound. Uh, I also thought this wasn't as violent as I thought it would be. Of course, in America, I believe it got a PG-13 rating, which is the American equivalent of the... 12A rating over here, but over here it was given a 15 rating, which is our equivalent of the R rating. Uh, but yeah, I liked uh, the zombies. I mean, yeah, you could tell it was CGI, and of course, you know, this is the date in the digital age, they're gonna definitely go with something like that for the, the parts where the zombies are climbing onto buildings and climbing on each other to get over walls. Um, but yeah, these zombies were you know, nasty and they were fast and the infection rate I also love Brad Pitt's character Jerry, you like you follow him throughout this film and you know I actually did like Brad Pitt's performance in this of course he was the lead in this film, of course we had some other supporting cast members as well that weren't as big as he is but 
all showed their great support in their performances. I did actually forgot Matthew Fox was in this film, but I didn't even realise it. I also noticed that this featured in the final act, you know, former Doctor Who Peter Capaldi, who that year landed, of the film's release in 2013 actually landed the role of the Doctor and his character, get this right, was actually credited as Doctor WHO, which is dangerously close to Doctor Who. I like to think that's pure coincidence, or was it destiny? Yeah, I, I liked all the other, you know, characters that he encounters on his journey and his travels, including an army girl that he helps out and befriends and, you know, stops her from getting infected. And, you know, how hope is found. You know, not great hope. Doesn't get rid of the zombies, but they find their one step to, you know, finding a way to battle this menace at the end. Of course, I believe the book and the film are different in a way, because that's what you get in movie adaptations, and apparently there was a lot of studio interference with this, or something, I don't know, but uh, apparently they changed the book a lot more than they than I think they were intending to, but I don't know, because personally, I haven't read the book, but I know there is a book and there's a sequel to it called The Zombie Survival Guide. Um, so, what else? What did I not? Did, is there anything I didn't like? I can't think of anything I disliked. I, I thought you, you know, Brad Pitt's character made some good decisions. Didn't do anything to get killed or anything, and survived the whole thing. And um, yeah, it's a good action horror, and I very much enjoyed it. So, what am I going to rate this one? I mean, I guess one negative was the overdoing of CGI visuals when the zombies were climbing, I guess, but other than that, it's a solid zombie flick, a great action flick too, if you love action and stuff, and Brad Pitt, so, you know, what the hell of it, I think I'll give this one five brains out of five. Five brains out of five for um, World War Z. So, that's it for today's episode, so have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description and yeah, uh, you can watch days 1 and 2 of Zombie Weekend now, either linked at the end of this video or on my channel. Anyway yeah, hope to see you all again and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the final part of this part of Zombie Weekend, so until next time, you know, Bank Holiday Monday, do it up nightmares.